If people don't like you, if you're being yourself, fuck them. Let me tell you something. I used to go with a girl when I was about your age. I tried to please her peppy all the time. Went out my way to please her peppy. I come in one day, I said, nice weather we have. I said, you can't say that. You can't say that, it might rain. I said, nice tie you got on. So you can't say that. My wife tried to choke me with it. Point I'm trying to tell you, son, is be yourself. People don't like how you be yourself. Fuck them. Fuck them up against the wall. Wear handcuffs on them with crazy glue on their lips. That's all you do. Mm. Words to live by. You live by them, son. Shalom, shalom, Israel. All right. First, I'll give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father and the Son. Call for my name, Yahweh, Fahashim, Shai. Double honest to my apostles and elders and great Muslim who do well and tell me the truth. And shout out to our brothers up there, the four of the earth, pushing the in all righteousness and sincerity to the elect. Alright? You know, the Lord's will on this lesson will be edifying. But um, last night I was riding with a brother um, in, in my camp. Um, he was dropping me off, dropping me off at, my, um, at my place. And we got a little conversation, man. All right, and it was um, it was based on um, a Jake came up to the camp um, this past Saturday, man, and uh, acting all simple as what, all right, he knew he understood that you know us Israelites, so-called Negro Latinos, and the Americans, the seed of your father, and the confusion of faces who go back to the line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, the seed lineage, okay. Um, that we are the Israelites, man. He understood that, but then he was still worried about the other nations, man. All right, he was still worried about the other nations, man. All right, he th he he was thinking that the Lord made the whole world for uh, made the world for everybody's sakes. When it clearly says in the scriptures that he made the world for our sakes, you know, the Israelites and stuff like that. But um, it was really, you know, it, at the end of the day, you know, it came to the point where hey, he he didn't believe, hey. Fuck him. You know, as you saw in the video before, um, you know, the little skit, Bernie Mac, okay? Um, you know, fuck him. You know, <laughs> just like that, man. All right. If they, if they don't believe, if they, if they don't like you, you know, if, you know, fuck them. Who cares, man? All right. Who cares if they don't believe, man? All right. Worry about yourself, okay? Worry about, that you believe, you know, thank y'all about Shemesh that you believe, man. Don't worry about these niggas, man. Alright? It says, I'm going to get the first scripture, I'm going to get the second. Ezra chapter 15. It said, uh, verse, uh, I'll start at verse 2. No, I'll start at verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. So we're supposed to speak in the ears of our people, okay? All right, our people, which is the Israelites, all right, the words of prophecy, man, which is the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man, all right, it says, which I will put in thy mouth, saith Yahweh, so Yahweh Shema Shai put his words in our mouth, and he commanded us to speak his words to our people, all right, we so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to see the father and confuse their faces, and go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, the seed lineage, okay, um, that you are Israelites, man, all right? And talking to you, tell, to tell you prophecy, man, all right? From Yahweh Hashem Shai, things to come, all right? It says, verse 2, and, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, kind. Cause them to be written in paper. What's that? The Bible, man, all right? The complete Bible with the Apocrypha, man, all right? Those are the words that are faithful and true, man, okay? It says, verse 3, here's the point. Fear not the imaginations against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee kind incredulity means unbelief on un, uh people people who don't believe all right the quality of not believing okay all right that's what uh, uh incredulity means so it says fear uh fear not the imaginations against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee yeah, don't don't let the the, the non belief of somebody that you know he doesn't believe in this word uh uh bother you, man. All right, because as the scriptures say, if they speak not according to this word, there's no light in them, man. Okay, he's in utter darkness, which means he's gonna he's gonna die, man. All right, don't worry about him. He's you know he's a walking dead man. Okay, it says, and here here it goes. It says, 
Verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. But yeah, nigga, you, you go perish, man. All right? We're not worried about niggas like that or niggas who don't believe, man. All right? You know? Got people dropping out of the truth. They don't, they don't believe no more. Fuck them. You know? <laughs> you know that's, that's what I can say. And we saying, hey, man, forget about them, man. All right? Who cares? All right? Don't worry how, you know, how the Lord going to deal with him, man. All right? The Lord will deal with him. All right? They said the unfaithful should die in the unfaithfulness, man. So he's like said, he's a walking dead man. Who cares? All right? You know? Yeah, we get mad, but at the end of the day, who cares, man? Fuck him. You know? <laughs> and like like I said, like Bernie Mac said, man, they don't like like you. They don't like what you say. Guess what? Fuck them. And that's the a, that's a spirit, you know, you should have, bro. And don't worry about these people who don't believe, man. Okay? It says, <clears throat> For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Alright? So they're going to die in their unfaithfulness. Okay? Next scripture I want to get is, um, because what happened, man, this dude was always, he, like I said, he knew that we were Israel. And there's always our people worried about everybody else except themselves, man. Alright? All we worrying about these other nations and stuff. These other nations don't give a damn about you, man. All right, they conspired against you to to not uh for you to not come back to your heritage, man. All right, and you gonna be worried about them, man. Like man, forget about them, man. All right, worry about yourself and see if you can be saved, man. You know, lose what we be part of that number, man. All right, I'm gonna get the scripture. This second Ezra, uh, chapter eight, verse Verse 13, <clears throat> it says, And therefore, be not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. Don't worry about them, bro. Like we said, they're in the congregation of the dead, all right? There's no light in them, okay? All right? All the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness. Don't worry how the ungodly is going to be unpunished. Don't worry how the two-thirds is going to be punished, all right? Don't worry how the, the heathen nations are going to be punished, all right? And this is what this dude was worried about. He wasn't worried about nobody else but Esau. Why? You know, the Lord made the whole world for our sakes, you know, our, the whole world. Man, worry about you. Okay, you are Israelite, all right, right? You know, if you're Israelite, worry about you. <laughs> you know, our people always worry about everybody else other than themselves, man. All right? You know, worry, see see if you can get salvation, man. All right, the scriptures say, work out their own salvation with fear and trembling, man. Okay? Worry about yourself first, man. All right? All right, and, and mainly the Lord didn't, don't care about the heathen nations, bro. So why are you caring about them, man? Okay? Worry about yourself. Okay? It says, And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when. Because it's going to happen eventually, man. Don't worry how and when. All right? Because the Lord is going to do, do what he does best. All right? Judge. Okay? <clears throat> it says, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Simple. All right. Who's the righteous? The, right now, on, ultimately, the righteous nation is Israel. All right. But who's, who's the righteous on this side, man? All right. The elect of the nation of Israel, man. All right. Inquire how the righteous will be saved. And see if you can be a part of that number, man. Okay. It says. It says. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Whose the world is, and whom the world is created. The world was created for us, man. So why are you worried about anybody else? I was trying to tell the dude, all right. The world was made for the Israelites, all right. And we're gonna get it. As a matter of fact, we're gonna get it. This is um, <clears throat> I believe it's a six chapter. Fine. This is um. Second Ezra chapter six, um, verse uh, fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest lord over, lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So yes, we all come from Adam, and that's the argument that everybody likes to make. Okay, we all come from Adam, so no, you know, no, those are chosen. Okay, it says, of him come we all. So yes, we come from we all come from Adam. So, and it says, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, all right, the Lord separated, 
All right, he made a separation there. We all come from Adam, but there's a chosen that also came from Adam. Okay. It says, "All this have I spoken before thee, O Yahweh, because thou madest the world for our sakes." All right, and this dude was trying to say that that hour means the whole, whole planet of people, man. All right, no, the person talking right here is Ezra, man. All right, Ezra was an Israelite, so he's saying hour, meaning that's possessive. All right, him and his people. All right, made was well, made for our sakes, and I, I use an example for him. All right, you know, say, uh, you know, just a, a, a parallel for him and everything. It was all right. So you have a plot of land that you buy. All right. You bought that land, all right, for the purpose of of building a, a big plantation house, okay, all right. You build a plantation house, all right. That land was made for that, and you might have little uh, flowers in the front, okay. So the 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 world was the world is that that per land that you purchased, okay, all right. That that's the land that was purchased, you know, what was made, you know. If you see the parallel, all right, the big Beautiful plantation house was Israel. All right, so the land was purchased for the for the sake of building the house on top of it. All right, and that's Israel it was made for our sakes. And the little flowers in the front, that's the heathen nations, man. Now, if you snatch the uh, the flowers out, all right, and 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 don't have no flowers in front of the house, does that really matter? No, the house is still there. The house is still beautiful. All right, the, the land was still made for the house. All right, so you know the 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 flowers just make the uh uh. Um, the house look better, okay? Adds a little, you know, spedazzle to it, man. All right, and that's the other heat of the nations. We don't, the Lord don't care about them. They're not needed, okay? All right, the Lord doesn't need them. The Lord doesn't really care about them. They're just there, okay? It says, <clears throat> as for the other people, the other heat of the nations, those little flowers, okay? See if you can get it, you know, if you can understand. Which come from Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. Straight. And he couldn't understand that, man. Alright? So, you know, fuck him. <laughs> if you didn't understand it, you don't believe that, fuck you. Simple as that. Go do your thing. Walking dead man. Okay? Thou hast said that they are nothing and be like unto spittle. Spit. You don't care about. Where your spit ends up. Okay. It says, and has likened the abundance of them to to a drop that follow from a vessel. Alright, you have a bucket of water. Alright, do you care about the little drop that dropped out or you care about the whole bucket of water, man? Alright. The Lord compared them to the drop that fell out. Okay. You care about the bucket of water, which is the children of Israel, man. Okay. So, you know, he, he couldn't understand that, man. Alright? So he was worried about the other nations, man. Oh, why does the Lord do don't worry about them? As you know, we read in the uh, <clears throat> in the ninth chapter of Ezra, right? Chapter uh, chapter nine, verse uh, thirteen. It says, "And therefore be not thou curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when." All right, he was worried about the ungodly, man. All right, worry about you and seeing if you could be a part of the righteous, man. Okay, it says. Um, it reads, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is. All right, who's the world is? It was made for the elect, okay? A nation of Israel, really the whole nation of Israel, but the elect, I mean, the first go around the goodies, man. All right, it says, and whom the world is created. All right, so the Lord was created for the Israelites, man. All right. So don't don't worry about how the godly will be unpunished. All right, don't worry about what's gonna happen to them, man. All right, worry about see worry about to see if you can be saved. <coughs> Lock it. All right. Um. Next. Um. Next question I'm gonna get. I'm gonna end it on this because I've been I've been quoting it. That's <coughs> not. <sighs> Uh, this is a uh, okay. This is the book of uh, uh 
I'm sorry, I can't. It's like it. Damn. Shit will pop up on my phone. Kind. This is uh, Philippians 2 to 12. Therefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trouble. So, you know, work out your own salvation, man. All right? Inquire to see how the righteous will be saved and see if you can be a part of that number, man. All right? See if, you know, Lord's will that you'll be a part of that number. Lord's will that we be a part of that number, man. All right? So worry about yourself, man. All right? You know, yes, have brother to love, but worry to see if you can make it, man. All right? Don't worry about everybody else. All right? You got to be kind of selfish, man. All right? <laughs> worry about you. All right? See if you can make it. If they don't believe, fuck them. All right? Forget about them. They're, they're, you say, it's going to say that the unfaithful should die in the unfaithfulness, man. So with that. I uh, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Krakadash. Double honest to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And shalom on to all brothers out there to the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity to the elect, to the house of David. Shalom.